So what does the future of Right at Home look like to you? Uh, so great question. Um, and it depends on how far out you're looking, right? So for the next couple of years, um, I think there's obviously things happening today in the environment that we're in. You know, we know that we have a caregiver shortage. So a lot of a focus and tension is being on how do we continue to help offices uh, identify and bring additional caregivers into their business uh, because the caregiver is obviously the one that's providing the care into the home. So how can we support that? And we're also focused on how do we continue to make the business model as efficient as possible. Uh, certainly through going through the pandemic, there's some things that have changed and it's accelerated some use of technology. And so we're looking at how can we use technology from an operational perspective. But also, I think over the next several years, going to see more technology being used in the home. Technology has always been something out there. We've dabbled it through it um, or in it, I should say, through prior years. But I think as we look at the change in the consumer that is now becoming our client, they're much more tech savvy than, than the consumers of prior years. So I think that's going to be a change we'll see over the next several years. Um, the healthcare as a whole is also really changing a lot. And you see a blurring of lines between home health and home care and, and where there's opportunities to maybe uh, come alongside and supplement even more than what we do today. But we're also from a right at home brand perspective and thinking about the aging journey as a whole and really looking at how can we be that household name even before someone needs care? How can we get in the home earlier and provide additional support services, whatever that means, whether it's maybe we are doing a, a, another channel of home modifications and things that will allow our franchise owners to get introduced to individuals or families earlier than mom just got discharged from the hospital or, or mom just fell or, or some event happens, which is typically historically when we kind of get engaged with consumers. Um, but to think, you know, five years, 10 years from now, that's where it gets really, really blurry just because things are changing so fast. But the thing that I love about Right at Home and that I love about the industry is it's constantly changing, right? So there's always new opportunities and, and new ways to think about solving problems in a unique way. Um, and so we do strategic planning um, on an annual basis, but we're constantly thinking about what's changing in the market and how do we adapt. And we leverage input from our franchise owners to help us figure out some of those questions. So it's not that we have all the answers, but we work collaboratively with the franchise system. And so we have a strategic leadership council that's made up of franchise owners, and they get really engaged with us on a regular basis in talking about what's going on in the industry and what are the things we need to, need to do to continue to evolve and adapt. Because at the end of the day, we're focused on building sustainable, profitable businesses. And our, and our mission is to touch as many lives as possible in bringing that mission to life to improve the quality of life for those we serve.